this is the umbo. It's the oldest part of the shell. Uh, as the, the clam or mussel grows, it secretes more layers of the shell, so these are the lines of growth. Okay, so each bivalve has two shells. There's bilateral symmetry. You have a left and a right shell connected at the hinge. Uh, so this is the dorsal. Uh, this is the ventral. Uh, the umbo is always closer to the anterior than it is to the posterior. Okay, when you open it up. Okay, so the uh, epidermal layer uh, up against both shells that secretes the shell is the mantle. Uh, this is the muscular foot. Uh, the striated areas are the gills. You have one set of gills above the foot or to the left of the foot and one set of gills to the right of the foot. The two muscles that hold the two valves together are the anterior adductor muscle here, posterior adductor muscle here. Okay, the labial palp is this uh, fleshy bump with this uh, uh, tissue here attached to it. If you, I don't know if I can separate this out uh, very easily, but. Uh, okay, well, those are the labia. There's a set of labia on both sides of the foot, there's the other labial palp there. The mouth is in between the two palps right about here. Okay, when you uh, open up the foot, you can see the digestive gland and stomach, the dark greenish area. Uh, that leads to the intestine, which snakes through this beige area, which is the gonads. Okay. Uh, up here, the dorsal area, you're going to find the heart. Okay, so this is the heart right here. Um, bivalves have an open circulatory system, so the blood is not always housed in vessels. It kind of bathes the internal organs and then collects in sinuses and goes back to the heart. Okay, up here you have the hinge that uh, attaches the two halves of the shell. There's also a groove on one shell and a ridge on the other so that when the shell fits together they come together like that. That's called the hinged tooth. Okay. Also you have to imagine um, how the water flows through the shell. Um, on the posterior end uh, you have the meeting of the mantles from both halves of the shell. When they come together they form two channels. Uh, right here this would be the incurrent siphon. So water flows in the incurrent siphon, uh, travels across the gills. The gills have uh, cilia that trap food particles and transfer the food particles to the labial palp in the mouth. Then the water flows across the top of the gills and exits the shell right here. This would be the excurrent siphon. And that's about it.